This is a video for those of you who are interested in learning the bow staff. If you want to learn the weapons of the traditional Chinese martial arts, hit the like button for me, share this video, comment down below, get up, move with me, get a bow staff like mine, and let's train together right now. My name is Jake Mace with LearnFromJake.com. Today we'll be talking about the Chinese martial arts as it pertains to the bow staff. And of course, the bow staff is one of the 18 traditional weapons of the Chinese martial arts, often referred to as Gong Fu or Kung Fu in the West. I get thousands of comments every day from you guys, and by far the majority of the comments are about the staff. Most of the time you guys ask, where can I get my own staff or my own bow staff to practice with? because I'm in Europe, I'm in India, I'm in North America, and I don't have access to a store that sells traditional martial arts weapons. Well, let me tell you a secret. Stores that sell traditional martial arts weapons pretty much don't exist because the traditional martial arts are on the decline and they're becoming an extinct art form. Those of us that practice traditional Chinese martial arts are a dying breed, which is why I think they're so much fun to practice and so important to preserve. If you're wanting to practice a weapon like the monk's staff in today's world, you're gonna have to make it yourself and you can make it for free. As you saw, I found this piece of bamboo floating in the river of a castle I'm staying at here in France and I could tell it had potential. I left it out in the sun for one day to dry out because it was full of algae and now I've cut it to the same height as me be about one or two inches taller because that's the size that I think is appropriate. In traditional Kung Fu, a staff that's this tall is called a cane. And one that's this tall is called a bong. So we're using a traditional monk's staff today. Look at this weapon. Do you see any metal? No. Do you see any sharp edges? No. But do you respect its destructive capabilities? Yes. So what a better weapon for a Shaolin monk to have than a staff? One that can break, create knockout, can deaden the muscles, and can crack bone. But one that does not give somebody a death as gruesome as the one a sword would give somebody. So this is an appropriate weapon for the beginner kung fu practitioner to use if they want to learn the age-old Shaolin adage of avoid rather than hurt, hurt rather than maim, maim rather than kill. So now that we've cut our staff, I'm gonna check it out for any sharp edges, and if it does have any that can cut my hands, I'll use some sandpaper and sand those down smooth. This one is perfect, but it's made out of bamboo, and I would suggest you guys never use a staff that's made out of hard wood, because it's been my experience that hard wood may feel dense and may feel heavy and strong, but when it gets hit, it will shatter. Find a bow staff made out of rattan. Maybe find a bow staff made out of white wax wood. This one was the best I can get here at the castle in France. It's made of bamboo. So it's from the earth and I can feel the energy inside the staff. Let's get started on the moves I want you guys to practice if you're a beginner to training this traditional kung fu weapon, the bow staff. Please put your hands like this, both palms facing the same way. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. Both palms down, facing the same way. About shoulder distance apart, maybe a little bit wider. And I want you guys to practice the stances we need to have speed, power, and ability with our weapon. So go to a bow stance on the left side and take the staff and push it out above the head. So this is not going to cut it. This is going to cut it. Above the head and out. And hold right there. I feel my hands are open and I'm pinching the staff with the webbing between my thumb and my index finger, locking it in. And I'll hold this for about 30 seconds or so. 
Then to the other side, same thing. We're just getting warmed up so my stances aren't crazy yet. I'm just going as low as I can for the warm up. Above the head, arms straight. Go to a half split position, put the staff on the ground, put the hands behind the back, and try to touch your head toward the staff. And see how close you can get. Barely touch it with the head, and then see if you can recover and come back up straight again. Next, fall back to a reverse bow stance and take your staff and let it hit the ground flat. And hold that reverse bow. We're creating a relationship with our weapon. It's becoming one with us. It's becoming an extension of our own body, while at the same time we're conditioning our physical body to be in the shape and have the athleticism we need for traditional Gong Fu. Up, other side, same thing, lay it flat. Down nice and low, and hold there about 30 seconds. Back up, bring the feet in a little bit to horse stance. I have many tutorials on how to do a proper horse stance on my channel, check them out. I'll put links down below. Push the staff high, drop the stance low. And hold that horse stance for about one minute with the knees out, the thighs flat, as if you're sitting in a chair with a straight back. Once you've got that minute of your horse stance, I want you to work the shoulder flexibility. So spread the hands out a little bit and get about 10 reps like this where you go back and forth, stretching out your chest, your deltoids, your joints, and working the arms, getting them supple, youthful, and strong all at the same time. Pop on up. Let's work the defense we need with the bow staff. Go back to your bow stance and practice pushing the staff out as if you're blocking something. One. Now switch to this side, block two. Switch to this side, block three. Switch again, block four. Let me come at you guys for a second. Block five. Then again, block six. Hitting those bow stances. Block seven, pushing the staff out each time. Eight, nine, 10. This art is Chinese. Get some skills of talking in Mandarin. Let's at least get one through 10 down. E, R, San, Si, Wu, Liu. Chi, ba, jiu, sure. Same stance, work on the low blocks. Watch how I block, down low below the knee. This is not gonna cut it. You will think you're blocking, but your opponent will hit your shin, they will crack your knee. And this weapon's considered soft when used in a smacking motion. So it is designed to go to hard parts of the body, shins and knees. Hard weapons go to soft spots, soft weapons go to hard spots. We need to protect these hard parts of our body from our opponent. So block below the knee. Look at how far out that is. Turn this direction. Block below the knee. Hands open so my fingers don't get smacked and broken. Below the knee. Good stance, flat back. Below the knee. Let's go for 10. E, R, San, Si, Wu, Liu, Qi, Ba, Jiu. Sure. Now we need to learn how to block using the length of the staff also in a bow stance. So step out left and pretend as if you're painting a line on a scroll using the staff as your brush, or Mao Bi. Paint the line down. Turn to the right. 
paint the line down. Turn to the left, paint the line down. Turn to the right, paint the line down. Good stance, here we go for our 10. E, R, San, Se, Wu, Leo, Chi, Ba, Jiu, Shi. Let's learn how to attack, how to thrust. Take the staff and don't just thrust this way. We need to tuck it under our armpit. And as we tuck it, we have to spin the staff and the rear hand, the hand that goes under the armpit, will rotate from down to up, like we're flexing in the gym. So, under the armpit, under the armpit. See how that twists? Twist up, twist up, twist up. And this hand here, it guides for accuracy. So my power is here in the back hand, my accuracy is in the front hand. Watch how it goes. We come back, we thrust. Now this side, come back, thrust, tuck it underneath. Back, thrust. We're gonna add in the block we did previously. Paint the line, thrust. Paint the line, thrust. Paint the line, thrust. Paint the line, thrust. Let's go for 10. Visualize your opponent in front of you. Block their weapon, thrust. E, block their weapon, R. Block it, San, S, Wu, Leo, Chi, Ba. Jiu. Sure. If you have any hope of being a true master with a weapon like the monk's staff, you must have powerful forearms, fingers, hands, and wrists that are also flexible and supple. And we build this strength and flexibility with our spinning practice. I'm putting a link in the cards in the upper right hand corner and also down below you can click on to learn the full details of the first spin I want you to learn as a beginner. For those of you who have already learned the spin, let's work on it slowly and build it faster and faster right now. Right palm down, left hand on top. Skip catch your way to speed and flow. Skip catch, turn it palm down. Skip catch, palm up. Skip catch, palm down. I'm gonna get nice and close Hopefully the camera can pick this up. Skip, catch, palm down. Skip, catch, palm up. Skip, catch, down. Skip, catch, up. Skip, catch, down. Skip, catch, up. Don't try to invent your own way of spinning it. Do what has worked right for a thousand years, the skip, catch method. Don't reinvent the wheel. Just get really good at designing a wheel. Let me back up and show you guys with some flow. Here we go. Gonna get to 100, burning out. 100. It's amazing how not stopping and going as fast as you can by 100 reps, you get a burn that the gym could never give you thanks to this glorious weapon. The skills I've shown you in this video today are essential. These are the fundamentals you need to practice every day if you wanna have skill with the staff. People are asking me all the time on my Snapchat and my Instagram, which is Jake Mace Tai Chi, they're saying, how many days a week should I practice? I practice this every day for hours a day. A professional golfer or a professional athlete practices their skill as a full-time job. And you guys should do the same with the traditional Chinese martial arts. I just put together another video for you guys on my favorite 10 staff techniques and combinations updated for this year. There's one you saw before, and I'll have links to it in the upper right-hand corner of the screen also in the comments and description below. 
my top 10 favorite staff techniques and my top 10 favorite staff flows, click on the video and watch it now and practice hours and hours a day, every day.